Hello there. This is the Harbor Freight Windsor design six piece wood chisel wood chisel set. Comes in a quarter inch, half inch, three quarter inch, one inch, one and a quarter, and one and a half inch sizes. Uh, at the outset, I, I want to say these are not fine quality chisels. They're not fine woodworking tools. This is not a Lee Nelson. This is not a Veritas. This is not a an, an Ashley Isles or or uh, uh, even a Two Cherries. Okay, this is just a very low cost wood chisel. It's what it is. I paid ten dollars. And 52 cents for six of these chisels with tax. That works out to about a hundred or a dollar and 75 cents a piece. Now, I've opened the pack already because I, I read a lot of reviews, of good reviews on this. But one reviewer said that some of the chisels, the tips of them were uh chip deformed not square and so he advised checking them in the parking lot before you left let's go ahead and take them out just to make sure that it was okay so uh that's what i did they come with a little tip sleeves or or tip protectors whatever you want to call them and this is like I said this is not a comparison to high dollar chisels so some of you guys that are watching probably know that I am an instrument maker I build guitars electric guitars and I use a chisel every now and then for that but it's not like if you were building an acoustic guitar uh, but I mean I've done repairs where I've had to replace a top on an acoustic and things like that and I needed a chisel and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare these chisels and actually I'm going to set the rest of the well let's just leave them sit there I'm going to compare the three quarter inch chisel we we'll take that off. To the chisel that I have used in building guitars and anything I needed a chisel for. Uh, I don't use these to pound to cut off nails or any stupid stuff like that. Uh, this these were used like a chisel should be used. But this is the Stanley, I believe they're called Fat Max Chisel. And this is what I've been using because I don't have the money to really buy super high quality chisels. Can't afford them right now. But the thing about this chisel is it's quite heavy. Uh, and... It feels good in the hand but it's heavy and I like the feel of wood it's warmer and more organic and it's lighter weight but now I'm gonna just compare these two chisels physically this is chrome vanadium which is the same as this chisel and they physically are, the way that they're shaped is pretty much the same. If you look at this chisel, you've got the wide lands here. And they're fairly thick along the edge. Now, when I first look at the, looked at this chisel, I thought, man, that's really thick. But then I got back to looking at mine, the ones that I've been using, and there's pretty much 
physically no difference. These are basically bevel edge or bench chisels. That's what they would be called. But now, I have no idea what kind of steel this is other than chrome vanadium. That to me can be good or bad depending on how well it's tempered. But chrome vanadium can be tempered quite hard. And so, I mean, it's a tool type steel. Uh, so I'm not, you know, I don't have any fear that it can't be tempered to be a good chisel. But now, they, it has these rings down here. And if you look, I mean, they move. They're loose. They're not tight at all. And it, ostensibly what this is for is so that if you hit this with a hammer, it'll stop this from mushrooming. You should never hit a chisel with a hammer. Ever. Not a steel hammer. Not, I, even something like this, although I have done so, uh, with the steel cap on it. You should always use a rubber mallet or a plastic mallet or a wooden mallet to hit a chisel with. Never a steel hammer. So they really don't do anything but look like crap in my opinion. I don't like chisels with that design but it's not something that's going to stop me from owning the chisel if the chisel is really good. Uh, so I can't test in this review the quality of the steel. What I can test I, is I can compare these two screw uh, chisels and the workmanship done on them. And keep in mind, this is a uh, Stanley Fat Max, so this thing probably costs four or five dollars. I probably got a set of four for twenty. Something like that, if I remember right. So, not much. I'd pretty much be willing to bet there's not much difference between the steel in these two chisels. Now, if you look at them, I don't know if you can see. There's all kinds of... marks from the manufacturing process I don't know if I can all kinds of marks from the manufacturing process on this chisel if you look at like the one inch I mean you see her on the ring this okay the Stanley you can still see that if you look really close you can but it's been buffed and polished to a much nicer looking finish than these have. And the bevels were square and straight. Now this has got a straight bevel, but if you look at this and you look at these lands, you'll see that it's narrow here and widens out at the top. Now I don't know if they're all like that. No, they're not. But if you look at this one, this one and a quarter, this land is much wider than this one over here. So they're not really that evenly ground. Well, does that make that big of a difference? I really don't think so for 90% of the tasks you're going to use these chisels for. Uh, what I don't like, what is would be unacceptable in a $5 chisel or a $10 or a $15 chisel. If you look at that, you can see that that edge is not straight. It's chewed up. It really, really is. In fact, I can catch a little bit of a burr back here in a couple of different areas on it. It's not straight. So what I will have to do is lay that flat on a stone, match this bevel, and grind until I hit straight, square, good steel on that edge. It probably won't take that long to do. 
But you're going to have to do it with all of these. If you look at this Stanley, I don't know if you can see it. Well, no, you can't because it's been used. But I flattened a good bit of the back of this chisel when I first got it. And it was not flat, trust me. You have to do that with a new chisel. Uh, what you pay for in a lot of the more expensive chisels is that, that most of that work is done for you. Uh, but if I compare the two, cosmetically, this is a much better chisel. But I really don't know if there's a difference in the steels, a significant difference. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean these up. I'm going to flatten the face, the back of them, uh, correct any problems in the bevel. And I've got like two out of six of these that have uneven. It looks like when they put it on the grinder, they tilted it to this side or that side or, or got the stone a little bit on the corner of the grinder and dug into it and it just it looks like a wave from the ocean you know does this kind of stuff it's not straight uh i'll be repairing that you can also see that that's that's very roughly ground with a very low grip that kind of deal none of that makes is a problem for me because I can correct that. It's not something that I don't expect to have to do to some extent on any chisel I get. I because like I said, I can't afford high dollar chisels right now. But the reason I got these, if you look at this chisel, let me take that off again. These are both three quarter inch chisels. But if you look this Windsor design, it's like a quarter or a third of the length longer than this chisel. That makes a difference in some cases when you go to try to reach certain areas. Uh, and it's something that I like and prefer. So... I like the balance of the chisel. The balance is toward the center. I like the feel of the wood handles. I don't like the the design of the these rings and stuff look kind of silly, but it feels good in the hand. Uh, this little ring here is gives me a place kind of lay my thumb if I want to try to use the chisel like this uh, and it just you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten the backs do whatever corrective work I need to do at the bevel and hone them up and then I'll use them for a while and come back later later on in a few months side by side with these chisels and we'll talk about the edge retention sharpness and how they work in general use but I, I haven't seen these reviewed I've seen one review on YouTube where the guy took a Lee Nelson, a Veritas, one of the Aldi's chisels, and one of these, and compared them. Uh, but these weren't a winner in any category. Uh, and then I saw a video of a guy who basically honed it and showed himself cutting hair off his arm with a chisel, which doesn't tell you anything but that the thing will take an edge does it keep it who knows so I thought maybe somebody would want to look and last thing I want to look at I thought maybe somebody would want to look I'm gonna take this just this one inch chisel and this ruler and I'm gonna 
look at the size okay that's one inch that's something you have to consider a lot of times these chis these a lot of times chisels will not be the size that they say that they are okay that is slightly over three quarters of an inch I would say that's a sixteenth of an inch well no that's more about a thirty second of an inch over three-quarter what about the half inch half inch is the size I use more than any other and that's dead on and if you look at this half inch you see that the edge that's what I'm talking about some of them are slightly chewed up and it's just a bit ugly but that's nothing that won't hone out really quickly to be honest with you and so there you go uh, the six piece wood chisel set by Windsor Design from Harbor Freight that's a look at them uh, stay tuned in a few months I'll tell you what I really think about these chisels after I have used them a while and who knows I could use them a couple of times and realize that they are absolute junk and not worth and if, I, if that's the case, I'll come back and say. All right, thank you for coming along for the ride. And if you've thought about these chisels, at least I've given you kind of a look at them. Uh, their uh, true useful instrument remains to be seen. God bless you. Later.